I think if you're listening or watching today, I'm probably you're wondering how can you find your purpose too? What I'm hearing is that it takes time. You need prayer, so a healthy relationship with God and also the right people around you. It has taken me a lot of walking with God and falling and like counseling and talking to seniors and like reading more Bible and understanding God better to actually find a purpose even in my writing. You would think that once I was 17 and I put it in God's feet and everything was great, like so I had found a purpose, not really. Even until my late 20s, I think I was still very confused about my purpose in life. Okay, I'm doing what I wanted to do, but how do I use this for God's glory? What is the purpose? Like, why am I doing this? But I did not initially consider writing to be a way to find a purpose or serve God for that matter. Uh, but as a believer, as a Christian believer, I knew that if I do anything in Christ's name, He is going to bless me and He's going to use it for His purpose and glory. It was only in my early 30s that I finally begin to realize that how, whether or not I have realized my purpose, God has been using me for various things. So I was translating for a lot of uh, foreign Christian folk who come here in India to preach the gospel. I was translating for them. I was teaching them language. I was actively participating in the trainings of, you know, like Bible studies and uh, training the youth. It was only in the early 30s that I realized, oh, God has been using me. And whether or not I have realized my purpose or not, I was being used and I was more than happy to be used by that. And I spoke to a lot of wise women. I want to give all the credit of finding my purpose to, of course, God, constant prayers and also women who are around me. There were these amazing mature women who helped me understand and see that, listen, these are your talents and this is how God's going to use you. And it won't be like one fine morning you wake up and you're like, this is the purpose of my life. This won't happen. Mm -hmm. It will happen. It may happen to some people, but for a lot of people, it's like walking that path and realizing it along the way that, okay, God chose me for this. And mm -hmm. this is my purpose in life. I find myself... <laughs> really in your story because um, even today sometimes I'm still struggling to to exactly know what is my purpose when I was much younger I had no clue and I just started doing things and then it became clear to me that actually there were certain things I was passionate about there were areas where I have uh, I'd say a burden for them it's not a negative burden but it says God laid a passion or gave me this wait for for this cause and that's how i discovered my purpose but it's really a long process and it took me a lot of iterations a lot of prayer a lot of discussions with mentors with coaches with friends and what i finally realized is the purpose is changing also during during my life mm. and it's mm. an evolving thing where i'm at today i would have never imagined even 10 years ago you know it's it's still yeah. evolving. Yeah, I feel like that's when you probably feel that you're growing in Christ also because through through more word, through more fellowship with Christ, you realize, oh, wait, like he is showing me parts of me or parts of the world where I'd not tread over or I'd, I'd not yeah. discovered. So that really helps you like evolve. And I love that because I feel like that's how we're growing. That's how we're understanding uh, God better and being able to serve him better, I think. Totally. Yeah. And, and what I also find now as I'm older, it's easier to find my purpose because it's it's not only a looking forward, it's also looking back. You know, it's this image of uh. a carpet and you look underneath and you don't really see a lot of things. It's just a couple of threads and things going back and forth. But when you flip it on the other side, you see, oh, it's a beautiful picture. And yeah. <laughs> I see it much more like this, even though my purpose has evolved and has changed. I do see the same motive inside, like the same topics. Obviously, there are different um, different sides to them, but it's making a difference. It's it's um, it's changing other people's lives. This is also something that's part of my purpose. Changing other people's lives is something that takes so much maturity. This maturity and this evolution is such a privilege that it God like sort of puts this purpose in our lives and hearts, you know, and constantly does that. So.